YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back, back on my grind, back to the comparisons and collection style vids that y'all love. Listen, man, the last vid I uploaded, that Raging Bull versus Flight Suit Jordan 5s, I'll link it right here. Y'all's comments, y'all showed me crazy wild love in the comments, man. I appreciate that love. I read all my comments. I'm literally doing this shit for you. If you clicked on here, subscribed or not, man, I did this shit for you. And I appreciate y'all watching, man. Follow me on the gram and snap. We can chop it up about whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm back. So I want to give you the content that y'all are asking for and what y'all want to see, man. I appreciate y'all. No question. This comparison video is for the Flyknit versus Leatherheads, man. I have your Jordan 1 leather version, Royal and Breads, versus your Flyknit versions, Royal and Breads. Let me know in the comments, man, which one y'all prefer. Be honest, I want all y'all's thoughts and opinions down below. I'm curious about what your thoughts are on fly knit versus leather or the whole fly knit wave going on right now, man. Just let me know down in the comments, man, no doubt. So let's talk the leather versions first. Of course, these joints first came out in 1985, first Jordan to ever come out. Very, very classic silhouette. Every time they come out, they always sell out. And these are the most recent retros of each colorway. And I think that Jordan Brand did a great job with the quality and keeping it true to its original form, no doubt. Now let's talk your fly knits. So fly knits first came out February of 2012. So it's only about five years old. So fly knit isn't old, you know what I'm saying? But the first shoe to ever have it was that fly knit racer. I'm sure I'll probably put a picture right here or something. So, the Flyknit Racer was the very first shoe to have that Flyknit and from that point the popularity of Flyknit because of the breathability, flexibility and the lightweightness of it, comfort as well, made it popular man. So from then it's been on fucking everything. Basketball shoes, cleats, football shoes, soccer shoes, you name it. Every shoe pretty much now has come out with a Flyknit version of itself. So in my opinion. I'm not really a huge fan of Flyknit, but when they do a great execution such as this, I think they did a great job when it comes to bread and royals, no doubt, man. They did a hell of a job when it comes to putting it on these shoes. So this comparison video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do my standard phrase of be royal y'all ass to death. So instead of me standing behind the camera holding it, talking and kind of showing you close-ups, instead I'm going to sit right here, talk over, and just throw b-roll as I'm talking man and uh, to give y'all the HD shots that y'all like so let me know in the comments what you like better me standing behind the camera on some up close and personal shit or me just chilling right here and giving y'all some of that HD b-roll man let me know which one y'all like better when it comes to my comparison vids man and I'll do more of what is, is requested so I appreciate it no doubt so let's have your fly knits versus leather. Retail price on the leather version is $160. They do come with extra laces. Retail price on your fly knit version is $180 and don't come with anything else extra in the box. As far as the box, it is your same standard Jordan 1 Nike box that we're all used to. You pull the shoes out, the swoosh is tumble on the leather version and it's a smooth leather on your fly knit version. The Wings logo is that painted embossed on your leather version and it is a stitched leather patch on the Flyknit version. The midsole is your standard Jordan 1 midsole that we're all used to as far as design, pattern and stitching which makes sense to keep it true to its Jordan 1 form with just a different upper which is Flyknit. Now if you look around the Flyknit they tried to keep it as seamless as possible. If y'all didn't know Flyknit is simply yarn and polyester, that's all it is go up the tongues we have mimic wax laces on your fly knit cotton strings on your leather version the top of the tongue of course on the leather version that has your paper Nike Air tag while the fly knit version has a nice leather Nike Air embossed tag which is very very nice detail and quality in my opinion go to the interior there is no ankle padding whatsoever on the fly knit version and it is a all leather interior as far as insole and ankle while your leather version has of course your cotton insole with a stenciled Nike Air while the fly knit has an embossed Nike Air so no worries about the Nike Air wearing out over time because it is embossed so no worries about it rubbing off or disappearing the more and more you wear the shoe very very nice touch on that 
Now, on the inner ankle of the fly knits is that date, kind of that same mimicking date that is on the bread ones as far as having a date on the inner ankle. Except on the fly knit, this simply means the year this silhouette came out, 1985, and the year that this shoe came out to 2017. So that's just a mimic and a head nod of being like the dates put on the inside of the bread ones. That date is on the interior of both shoes as far as the bread and the royals. So I think that is very, very dope that they put that head nod on the inside of both shoes for that. Now on the back of the tongue on the fly knit, it has 1985 and a spool of yarn like coming off other than 1985 so that's obviously what that means that spool of yarn is the fly knit and the 1985 is just giving a head nod of when the Jordan 1 was created so there y'all go YouTube there's y'all street tape comparison of the fly knit Jordan 1 versus the leather Jordan 1's man give me all y'all's thoughts down in the comments about fly knit about Jordan 1's about the colorways which ones do or do you not have do you want let me know all of that down in the comments and if you're a true Jordan head then you have to at least have the bread ones you have to that's just like standard if you're a Jordan head the Jordan 1 bread is like a mandatory shoe to have if you're any fan of Jordan sneakers whatsoever man that's just it is what it is on that so thanks for watching subscribe if you're new find me on Instagram and snap my next video is going to be Bread 13's 04, 2013, 2017 comparison video, man. So hope y'all looking forward to that. And that's for those of y'all who commented on the Jordan 5 video saying y'all want the Bread 13 comparison. I got y'all, man. I love my subscribers, love my viewers. Thanks for commenting. You can't just say you real with something you gotta be. I'll see y'all next video, YouTube. All right now. Y'all down memory lane, man. I'm gonna take y'all back when phone posits was really popping, back when it was really selling out, where folks were lined up for them joints. This video is all Jordan 5 that dropped in 2006. Why 06? Because it's the best color year for Jordan 5s of all time.